Hi. I wanted to do... Yeah, my ticks have started doing this meow thing where it meows like I usually do, but then makes it into some sort of tune. I don't know. <laughs> but today's video, I wanted to recreate an old video I did back in 2020. If you've been following me for a while or you had TikTok during lockdown, you may have seen this video. Things I can't do because of my Tourette's. <laughs> and I made that three years ago. It's been three years since my first ever viral video. So I thought I'd recreate it. <laughs> it's been a while since I made a video like this or talked about what Tourette stops me from doing. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a list, give you a full length video talking about the things I can't do because of my Tourette's. Before... <laughs> I can't with that tick. Before I start, I just want to say, obviously these things are from my experience. Everyone with Tourette's is different. Everyone's experiences are different. This is what I personally find difficult to do. Obviously I'm saying I can't do this. Take that with a pinch of salt. No one can legally stop me from doing these things. <laughs> It's just stuff that I find difficult so I feel like I can't do it and generally I just don't do it because if it's really difficult I just avoid it because it makes my life a lot easier to just put things in place, have adaptations so that I don't have to do things like this. Number one, I can't go to the cinema. My tics haven't been too interruptive. <laughs> in the past couple months. So I have actually been to the cinema. I watched John Wick 4 and I also watched Avatar 2 when that came out. So in the past like six months, I have been two or three times, which is rare for me. And I do find it difficult if there's any films that are quiet. So for example, if a new Quiet Place film came out and it was really quiet, you know, the suspense horror film, no. <laughs> It's not gonna happen. I can't stay quiet. There is no way for me to stop ticking. Obviously I can suppress for like a couple minutes and hold it in, but it's gonna come out eventually. So there's just no point. I can't keep quiet or still for a two hour film. But there's a bit of a loophole where <laughs> if I have a good tick day and my ticks aren't that bad or interruptive anyway, and the film is very loud, like John Wick, is an action film. It's very loud, chaotic, there's guns like every two seconds. It was fine. I can actually tick and no one can hear me as long as I don't shout. And I generally don't shout or scream on my really good tick days. So sometimes I can go to the cinema, but it's very, very difficult. And there's a lot of films that I just can't see. I just don't go. It saves me a lot of disruption and feeling bad. And also doesn't put me in a situation where someone might shout at me or say not very nice things or worst case scenario, I get kicked out. <laughs> Second thing I can't do because of my Tourette's. <laughs> Study in libraries. This became very apparent when I went to college because we have a lot of free periods. <laughs> Obviously I'm finished with college now. I have my A-levels, I've done, I'm finished, I'm on my gap year. But when I was studying for my A-levels and we had exams coming up, everyone was studying in the library. There were quiet rooms, everyone used to just go in, sit in silence so they could get the work done. And if you have Tourette's, you know silence is basically your worst enemy if there's other people in the room. So I couldn't do that. I didn't go to any of the study sessions that were organised because there's no point putting me <laughs> in a quiet room full of people trying to concentrate. It's <laughs> fuck off! It's not gonna happen. They're very quiet. I love books. I love reading. It's a very big hobby of mine. But libraries, terrifying. <laughs> a room full of people literally telling you to be quiet and telling you you can't talk, you can't make a noise, you can't rustle. There's no way in hell that's gonna happen. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably a librarian's worst nightmare. <laughs> Number three, I can't sit exams. Obviously, I have to get my A-levels, I have to get my GCSEs. I didn't sit GCSEs because it was COVID, but A-levels, I did actually sit my exams. I have done a whole video on this, I will link it here and put it in the description, but I have to have a lot of accommodations because I can't sit a usual exam in an exam hall with loads of other people because it's silent. There's no way I can do that. I can't keep quiet and I just distract everybody else. So I have to sit them in a different room with a few different things making it a lot less quiet, a lot less pressured, and there's no one else near me, so I don't have to worry about distracting anyone, and there's no judgement. I can't sit normal exams, but there are ways around it. Number four is something I haven't actually talked about before, but I can't get a haircut. Obviously, I have very long hair. It never really shows in videos because I always have it in a bun, but I have like waist length hair, like butt length hair. Part of this is just because I'm slightly emotionally attached to it. That's something to discuss another time, but it's also because I can't really get a professional haircut. I can't stay still, I can't not twitch and move around, and obviously I have vocal 
politics so it's really awkward being in a quiet scenario sat in a chair while someone's <laughs> trying to cut your hair. So I actually haven't been to a proper hairdresser's since I think I was about five. If you know anything about my story, you'll know I started with ticks when I was seven. That's when we first noticed them. And then I got diagnosed at 14. But actually, I haven't been able to go to the hairdressers since I was a really, really, really young little girl because I couldn't sit still in the chair. I used to get hiccups, like, really badly, just constant hiccups every time I went to the hairdressers because it made me nervous. I don't know why, I wasn't scared of my hairdresser. When I went and I had to sit still, I kept hiccuping and doing this, which now we know are ticks, and I do the exact same thing every time we try and cut my hair nowadays. But yeah, I've never been able to actually properly go and get my hair cut. My mum cuts my hair in my kitchen. <laughs> Number five is, I can't get my nails done. This might be evident in the lack of nails. <laughs> the lack of nail polish I have. I never have them done apart from if I do it myself because I can't sit with my hands propped up really nicely on a thing while someone does my nails and you're not allowed to move. I can't do it. I've never done it. I don't think I ever will. I don't feel the need to and quite frankly, it would only really stress me out because if someone says, don't move or you'll smudge it, my ticks are just gonna move. This is a little bit different but number six is I can't play hide and seek. Now obviously this doesn't really affect my day-to-day -day life too much. I'm not missing out on many games of hide and seek in my general adult life but it's a random thing that people don't think about like kids games <laughs> and things like playing with my little sister if she ever wants to play hide and seek. I literally can't do it. Like, I can't stay still. I just ruin the game because everyone can hear me. And things like hiding or if I want to do things like laser quest. I went to do laser quest with a couple friends and I can't keep still. I just shout or because I'm excited my ticks get really loud and then everyone knows where we are. So I'm not a very good person to be sneaking around with. If I ever need to sneak out for some reason, yeah, I, I'd be useless. I'd be the worst sidekick in like trying to sneak out of somewhere. Like imagine me as like a spy. <laughs> I'd be so bad. And moving on to the next one. Number seven is, I can't hold drinks without lids on. I can't hold spillable drinks or cups of water or literally anything that could spill. If someone says, oh, can you hold this for a minute? I'm not gonna be able to. I'm gonna have to put it down. Otherwise I'll tip it or throw it or I'll jerk and all the liquid will come out of the glass. I generally use actual water bottles with lids on just in case I tick or I move really suddenly that I, and I don't feel it coming. But it also goes with things like, I could never be a waitress because I can't hold stacks of plates and not drop them. <laughs> like stacking the dishwasher or putting the plates away is really difficult at home because I could be carrying a load of plates and then randomly when walking through my kitchen, I quite often just lean backwards. I did it a few times this morning and my mom had to catch my back so I didn't like face plant the floor. Yeah, I just have a lot of weird tics that come very suddenly. So yeah, I can't hold breakable things or be trusted to hold drinks. If I ever go to a party and someone's like, do you want a glass of champagne? Absolutely not. <laughs> I can't be trusted. It's not me that can't be trusted. My tics can't be trusted. I'm a very trustworthy person. <laughs> Number eight is I can't shop in busy places. Obviously I'm using the example of shopping, but this goes along with events or just being in busy places or getting public transport. Anywhere where there's a lot of people, I don't do. <laughs> it's kind of dangerous because if I offend the wrong person with something my tics say or I accidentally hit someone or god forbid I like grabbed something off someone or you know did something that you really can't do in public to a stranger. That sounds wrong. Don't take that in the wrong way. <laughs> a common one I do is just hit people on the head. Like I just boot people. I always do it to my friends when I'm walking past them in college, like my friend Robin. The amount of times I've just gone and booped them on the head in the middle of college. <laughs> but yeah, I can't really go in busy places because there's too many people. It really makes my tics worse when I get stressed and when there's busy places, noisy places, lots of people. All of that just really triggers my tics, so that combined with being really close to people and being out in public where you supposed to behave. I avoid it at all costs. I do go outside, I go places, I go shopping, I'm a normal human, I can't just stay locked up inside making content. But I have to pick the days when I do it and if my ticks are bad I just opt for like the online option. I opt for the safer option and make my life easy. 
Number nine is very self-explanatory, but I can't control my body. I can't control what comes out of my mouth when I tick. I have no idea what the tick's gonna be. I can't choose what I say. I can't choose when I move, what I do. I can't choose <laughs> which ticks come and go. I, I can't control my body or my brain. My brain is out of control. It's involuntary. It, blah, blah, blah. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. <laughs> it's involuntary. That's one of the weirdest things to get used to with Tourette's is, I spoke about this on a recent Twitch stream, but it's really weird not being able to control your body. Like your brain literally doesn't function the way it's supposed to. It's a very strange feeling. And it's quite frustrating if you really think about it, but I just try and not think about the fact that my body is uncontrollable because there's nothing I can do about it. So there's no point trying to get really annoyed about it because the only thing that's going to do is make me live my life really, really fed up. And I don't want to do that. It's all about the mindset. <laughs> And moving on to number 10, this is my last one for this video. On a similar note, I can't drive. Now this isn't just because of my Tourette's, this is because of all of my health issues, but I'm not allowed a driving license. It's not safe for me to drive, mainly because of my seizures and paralysis, which are actually due to FND, which is another condition I have. But my tics also make it very difficult for me to do anything like driving. Obviously I can't learn because I'm not allowed, but I imagine that if I did drive, it would make it really difficult. Like even pressing the pedal, my foot would want to slam it down because I kick the floor in the car quite a lot, or I lean forward in the car, or I shout. And a really common thing I do in the car, I'm sorry to my mum, because I always do this when she's driving and I'm sat next to her in the passenger seat, I always flick people off quite often when there's police cars around. And obviously if the passenger in a car flicks a police officer off in the next car, it's a bit awkward. <laughs> but luckily I've been able to get out of situations or explain it or laugh it off or hold my lanyard up and be like, sorry. <laughs> But yeah, that that's one that could possibly cause problems in the future. But to be honest, I'm okay with it. I've come to terms with the fact that I can't drive. I can't learn to drive and that's okay for now. <laughs> Maybe one day it'll change and I'll be able to drive around. But for now, my friends are just going to have to act as taxis. <laughs> I get to sit back and do nothing, so it's okay. See, it's all about the mindset. You got to get the perks from it, focus on that and ignore the shit you can't do. <laughs> ignore the stuff you can't change because it's not worth getting caught up on. But yeah, I feel like that is a good uplifting light note to end the video on. I enjoy doing this. I've not done a sit down, just facts, speaking, listing video in quite a while. So I, I've enjoyed it. Let me know if you want more videos like this because <laughs> I have so many things that I've kind of half covered on TikTok in a really short 30 second video that I could just talk for hours about. So if you want me to start recreating some of my old TikToks, really going into detail about it as a full video, put them in the comments, tell me which ones you want me to recreate, any questions you have, comment them down below and I will do a video on them. But I hope you enjoyed, I hope it was entertaining and I hope you learned something. And if you have Tourette's, I hope you can find some relief in <laughs> seeing that you're not alone. We all do struggle with different things, but some of us might struggle with similar things. I do have a Discord server where a lot of us have Tourette's and we do talk about these sorts of things, we relate, we make friends. If you want to join there, the link is also <laughs> in the description. I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video and I will see you on Sunday, 5 p.m. for another video. I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Bye. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs>